Hello, this is Max Williams with Robinson and Harris Real Estate, and today I'm in Midlothian, Virginia. And we're going to take a look at a three bedroom, two and a half bath home situated here at the end of a cul de sac. This home has an attached two car garage and it is government owned. It's currently listed for about $20,000 below assessment, and it does need uh, probably some cosmetic updates, nothing major. Uh, but a new buyer probably would want to do a couple things straight ahead. Fortunately, we've got uh, uh, some of Chesterfield's finest that live there. It's always nice to have an officer of the law nearby in case uh, something is needed. An unlikely event, you need assistance, you know exactly where to go. Okay, we've got a nice long driveway here. Uh, directly to the rear, we've got a storage unit, which is nice. This does have a two-car attached garage, but you can never have enough storage. So we've got a really wide lot here in the rear. Uh, we've got some nice mature trees and um, good privacy here in the rear uh, with the fencing that goes around most of the backyard. I've got a nice custom deck. We're going to take a little bit closer look uh, at that from the inside. And of course the two-car garage with a pedestrian door. I'd like to come out of these homes, give you an idea of exactly what's available in the marketplace. Here in the past few weeks, I've been fortunate enough to have a couple HUD offers accepted. And they surprised me because the government is getting really aggressive as far as accepting offers uh, that are maybe a little bit below their asking price. Uh, they really want to get these homes off the books. And that, of course, benefits a buyer that's looking for great value. So let's go on in and take a look at this one see what she has to offer okay, as we come in straight ahead we've got a coat closet we have an option we can go to the left here to our family room or we can go excuse me to the right or to the left here to our formal dining room we're going to start here with the family room we do have a gas log fireplace the carpet definitely needs to be replaced and we can see that we've got the kitchen and the stair case there to the left. I'm going to pop out here real quick. Really nice size deck, as you can see. A lot of people really like the rear staircase. That way you don't have stairs as soon as you hit the front door. Our kitchen is nice, open floor plan. We've got a smooth top there. And our refrigerator does convey good additional storage there in the pantry here in the informal dining area we have not only window looking out over the rear of the home but we also have a skylight one thing to be particularly careful about in a home with skylights is you want to make sure there are no leaks and this one looks pretty good leaks will typically show up as a light brown stain on a really light colored uh, painted surface. Here we have our mudroom, washer, dryer hookups right there, and then our half bath and our winterized toilet. And of course our garage, our two car garage. Plenty of space for two cars, also a pedestrian door, and we have a opener as well. It's a really nice functional floor plan in this home. This uh, neighborhood, this area is uh, very popular as well. Uh, so I expect this home will sell. Somebody will come in, do a little bit of work and be really, really happy here. Okay, we've got a couple secondary bedrooms before we get to our master. Uh, this one is pretty average size. We do have a ceiling fan here, here, good natural light, windows on two sides. This bedroom is on the front of the house, a little bit more conservative but still a great size for a twin bed or maybe even a full, uh, great child's room or office. Now to our master. Actually, we've got a hall bath here with a window looking out over the front of the house. Actually, we've got a tub shower enclosure. Ooh, I don't know what happened there. Usually the chemical they use to winterize is usually red, so not sure what the green is all about, but I'm sure that'll clean out nicely. And this is our master. Our master has a couple of sections to it. I'm going to show you that here 
momentarily. We do have a ceiling fan here and also our master bath. Jetted tub. That's really nice. We've got tile that's around it. Of course, a shower head there. Tile on the floor. And additional storage here in the bathroom. So it's nice to have a linen closet right in the bathroom. This is part two of the master suite. We've got his and her closets. And then this long, long, long sitting area. And I imagine if somebody really wanted to have a home office near their bedroom, this is a great place to do it. You could also really set up a, a couple of sofas and TV in here, just have it as a sitting room. You could do exercise room. And then there'd be very little excuse for not exercising because all you have to do is stumble out of bed, take a few steps and jump on the treadmill or elliptical trainer. Okay, that's going to do it for this home. Once again, if you have any questions about this or any other house, Max Williams, I can reach at 402-7788. Thanks so much for taking the tour, and I hope you have a great day.